Greetings. Uh, <clears throat> this video is on milliequivalents. So you're going to learn exactly what they are and then also how to convert between milligrams and milliequivalents. Okay, so before we can learn about milliequivalents, we have to learn about eggs and coffee beans. Okay, so when you go to the store, you buy eggs how? By the, by the dozen, right? You buy coffee beans, you buy them by the pound. And you wouldn't say, you know, give me 2,000 dark roast coffee beans, right? Okay, so just like at the grocery store, in the pharmacy, you know, most of the stuff we dispense is by is determined by how much it weighs, like say 10 milligrams of lisinopril, right? You don't know how many actual molecules of lisinopril, you only know how much it weighs. Okay, but some of the things uh, that we deal with, we're dealing with them in the number of ions, right? And not how much they weigh. Okay, so. In the grocery store, we have a dozen. In the pharmacy, we have a different unit called the mole. M-O-L-E. And so the, uh, the symbol for mole is just M-O-L. We just drop the E. Okay, so a dozen equals 12. Okay, a mole is uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So that's just a great big number. Um, if they had a mole of six to gum, it would cover the United States 40 million times. Okay. So just like a milligram is one one thousandth of a gram, a millimole, M-M-O-L, is one one thousandth of a mole. So it would be 6.022 times 10 to the 20. So you don't need to know that number, it's kind of fun to know, but you don't need to know it. So let's erase that number. Sorry, Avogadro. Okay, so uh, a millimole is just a thousandth of a mole. Okay, so if we have a millimole of sodium ions, you have that big number of uh, sodium ions. Okay. If you have a millimole of sodium ions, you have that number of ions. Okay, so from millimole, how do we get to milliequivalent? So a milliequivalent is just a millimole of charges. Okay, so we look to see how many charges are on each ion. In this case, there's one charge per ion. So one milli equivalent equals one millimole. Okay. If you have calcium, that's two charges. One millimole equals two milli equivalent. Okay. Because there's two charges on each ion, you get double the number of milliequivalents as you would with a millimole of sodium. Okay. So that's all it is. You can think of a milliequivalent as a millimole of charges. Okay. Now, how do you go from milligrams to um, milliequivalents? Well, just like there's no direct conversion from dozen to pound, you can't say there's 2.51 pounds per dozen because you might have a dozen eggs, you might have a dozen basketballs, you might have a dozen cars. They're all going to weigh a different amount. So, just like on eggs and basketballs, we have to know how much the ions weigh or the atoms uh, to figure out how many milliequivalents you're going to get from a certain number of milligrams. 
So. This is where the atomic mass comes in. Okay. So you get the atomic mass off the periodic table, or you can Google it. Just put in, um, let's, let's do uh, potassium chloride, okay, KCl. Okay, so you got K plus and Cl minus. Okay, so you're going to look up the atomic mass of potassium. And that's going to be 39.1. And then you're going to look up the atomic mass of chloride or chlorine. That's going to be 35.5. Okay. So let's do a problem. Um, they ask you how many milli equivalents are in 746 milligrams of potassium chloride. Okay, so going back to the atomic mass, what this means is if you have 39.1 grams of potassium, that equals one mole. Okay. Also means 39.1 milligrams equals one millimole. Okay. I skipped that. Step, sorry. Okay. So if you add the potassium and the chloride together, you're going to get um, 74.6 as the atomic mass of potassium chloride. So that means that there's 74.6 milligrams per one millimole. Okay. Now we also know that since potassium and chloride just have one charge each, there's going to be one milli equivalent per one milli mole. Okay. So if you've looked at these other videos um, on just uh, unit conversions from say milligrams to grams, these problems are worked exactly the same way. Okay, so we're going to start off by writing down our given 746 milligram and the units of the answer, which is milli equivalents. Okay, then we put in our ratios so that the units of the given are canceled out and we end up with the units of the answer. So we have. Um, Look up here, we got one millimole per 74.6 milligram, and then we have one milli equivalent per one millimole. Those cancel, those cancel. Okay, so I made it easy on myself, right? Okay, so 746 divided by 74.6 is 10. Okay. So 10 milli equivalents is equal to 746 milligram. If you look on the label, it says 750 milligram. Well, they just round, rounded that off. It's actually closer to that number. If you want to go from milli equivalents to milligram, all you do is start with how many milli equivalents and you write down the units of milligram and then you're going to use the same type of ratios, but you're going to have to flip them upside down. Right. Okay, so um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you would click like on there. That helps. Okay, thanks, and um, let me know again if you have questions. Thanks.